I'm John Cobb, and I'm here today with Sam Warner from New Zealand, and Sam's a multi-time uh, Ironman champion, a world champion at uh, 7.3 races, or uh, RT races? Yeah, I'm Okay, good. Uh, anyway, great racer, and uh, <laughs> she's been here working with me, learning more about how to fit people on bikes. And so uh, she's going to go through the basics of how to set your seat height with a rider today. So, Sam, do your stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks, John. Okay, well, I'm going to bring in um, my uh, prodigy, uh, Robbie. He's going to be our test subject today. Now, uh, seat height is so important. Getting the right seat height is really important for comfy and also if you're going to be an uh, Ironman for time trialling. So, for me, coming from Olympic to uh, 7.3 to the Ironman, um, I can't tell you how important getting the right seat height is for my efficiency and comfort. So, what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to ask Robbie to take his shoes off and we're going to measure his inseam. We measure the inseam just like as if you were going to go to the tailor. You measure it from the inside of your leg, which I'll ask Robbie to place up there, as he pulls him up. Okay, and from here we can see that Robbie's inseam is 34. We use the, in the formula of inseam length times 0.889 to give us a seat height. So if we were to do that with Robbie, we would times 34 times 0.889, which gives us the number of 30.2. So now what we do is I'm going to ask uh, Robbie to get on to the, the um, bike. And while he gets on there, you'll notice that um, I've actually just put a piece of tape on his hip. That's where his hip joint is. Now, when we're out riding, what, for, to get the best seat height for us, you need to decide where you're going to sit for most of the time on your bike. Here you can see um, Robbie is, is, on his, um, is on his bars. Now, if we use this leveler here, you'll see his hip angle is here. Now, if I say, Robbie, please can you go down to your tri bars, notice how much higher the hips have gone up. So therefore, if Robbie is going to be in this position, um, you know, for his racing, we need to measure his seat height to correspond with this position. So now I'm going to ask Robbie if he can start pedalling, and from his pedalling we can now look at his foot angle. Now from his foot angle, what we're going to get from that is we're going to see if the seat's at the right level. Uh, at the moment, from what we can see, he's very flat. From research and from the, you know, from fast cyclists, it's been proven that 15 degree is the best angle. But as we can see from Robbie, his angle is slightly flat, um, indicating that the seat is slightly lower. I've asked Robbie to stop cycling now because we're going to get another, another, like number of reference we can use to get the correct seat height. And uh, what I'm using now is an angle meter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the knee joint in the middle. The other one will be going down across the ankle, and then what we do is we move this in line with the hip to see what this reading gives. This gives us 138 degrees. Once again, ideally we'd like to be around 145, so this suggests once again that Robbie's seat is too low. Robbie, if I could ask you to uh, climb off now, please, and what I will do is I will um, measure the seat. So we're just going to measure the seat just to show you. Coming down and our suspicions are right, he is 29 and a half, and from our working out, it should be 30.2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the seat up. So we've readjusted the seat, we have moved it up slightly. As you can tell from the measurements, once again using what we used before, straight down, halfway, it is now right on 30.2. So I'm now going to ask Robbie to come back on and start pedaling in the same position as before with his um, Arms, um, arms on the bars, and now we're going to do some more observation and check angles to see how it is. Once again, place it on the same knee point, and we can see that that is 145.1, which is where we want it to be.